皆様大変お待たせいたしました。Thank you very much for waiting. We will now、uh, like to、uh, receive the keynote speech from、uh, Minister Ryota Takeda、uh, of uh, the Internal Affairs and、uh, Communications. My name is Ryota Takeda, Minister of the Internal Affairs and Communications. Thank you very much for inviting me today. And thank you to everyone at the venue and everyone participating online. Thank you very much. Today, I will be talking about 5G. Uh, and uh, beyond、uh, what is required for the digital society, I would like to talk about how the Ministry of、uh, Internal Affairs and Communications、uh, is working to improve the foundation of the digital society. First of all,、uh, let's uh, look at uh, the social issues as well as digital technologies、uh, in Japan. Uh, Japan is facing the challenges of the、uh, declining population, aging population, and prolonged periods of low growth. The population of the world、uh, continues to、uh, increase, but the number of people in Japan has been declining since its peak in 2010. In terms of aging,、uh, Japan is about 20 years ahead of the Asian countries, leading to structural changes that no one has experienced in terms of the industry, regions, employment, and、uh, working environment. In addition, as the economy shifts, From a period of、uh, high growth to a period of stable growth and then to a period of low growth, the economic、uh, growth rate uh, is uh, also gradually declining. The use of digital technology、uh, is essential for solving social issues associated with such a declining population and、uh, aging population. And for maintaining the increasing、uh, economic growth by improving、uh, productivity. And、uh, comprehensive、uh, digital transformation in society that is necessary to realize society 5.0. Against this backdrop, I beset with、uh, COVID 19,、uh, three Cs,、uh, close spaces, poor ventilation, crowd and close、uh, contact settings must be avoided. Therefore, telework and telemedicine are accelerating、uh, the need for digitalization. I understand that many people are participating online. Uh, but with this,、uh, we are compelled uh, to uh, proceed uh, toward、uh, digitalization. The key to digital transformation in society is the IoT, AI, and 5G, as well as supporting、uh, IT infrastructure. Please refer to this diagram. And the future deployment of IoT and AI is shown here. The number of IoT devices in the world reached approximately 25 billion. In 2019, and expected to reach、uh, 35 billion in 2022. At the bottom right,、uh, it is estimated that the AI market size will grow rapidly in the future, with an average、uh, annual growth rate、uh, of、uh, 60% or more. Let's look at the future of the world、uh, with increasing prevalence of IoT, AI, and、uh, 5G.、Uh, let's look at the future world. Uh, new services include in medical care a surgery performed、uh, remotely by、uh, doctors from a remote location. Preventive medicine will be enabled using、uh, biological sensors, biometric sensors. Automatic、uh, operation of the tractors in the field of agriculture, unmanned、uh, operation of feeding and watering in education, remote classes by world class lecturers. And uh, 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 classes can take place、uh, outside, even、uh, in disaster prevention and mitigation, real time monitoring of the disaster and optimization of disaster response will be enabled. This is realization of new values. And the realization of such a new world is extremely important to solve. The social issues, such as declining the working age of population, increasing the aging population, To achieve economic growth through increased productivity. To realize such a digital society,、uh, it is essential to develop、uh, information communication infrastructure, including 5G. Let's now、uh, talk about、uh, the、uh, information and communication infrastructure that is the foundation of the digital society.
Let's uh, uh, refer to 5G infrastructure supporting uh, the digital society. 5G refers to the fifth generation mobile communication system that has been evolving uh, every 10 years. The first generation was uh, introduced uh, as an analog car phone in 1979, used only for voice communication. At that time, as shown in this photograph, it was very bulky and uh, it was vehicle mounted to, uh, and was fixed in the car and could not be used to outside the car. Next came the portable shoulder phones. But uh, it was very heavy and uh, had very short battery life, I'm sure many of you remember uh, this device. In 1993, the second generation of the digital system was introduced and the audio quality and battery life uh, improved remarkably. A packet data communication was introduced. However, the second generation supported uh, different standards uh, in each country. It was very fragmented. Uh, the third generation was introduced in 2001. In the third generation, three standards uh, were adopted, enabling uh, international roaming, transcending national borders. Uh, the take-up was increasingly uh, higher and was increasing. And uh, uh, in the third generation, internet browser uh, could be used and uh, uh, people could exchange uh, uh, photographs uh, amongst friends. So significant uh, progress was made in terms of uh, um, functionality. In the third generation, mobile phones were increasingly used in this way. With faster speed, new functions uh, were added, uh, such as watching video. In the fourth generation, was introduced in 2015, and it's probably what you are uh, probably using today. Uh, communication speed is higher, viewing high de mission definition in social media video, or immediate uploading of the uh, social media on the spot uh, uh, when the video was taken. Uh, evolution of technology every 10 years, uh, starting from the first uh, today. Uh, communication speed has increased uh, by about 100,000 times uh, within the 30 years, and higher speed uh, along the way has unleashed new applications. 5G launched commercial services in March this year. In the future, I think it will change the world with unimaginable uh, applications. Features of 5G includes ultra-high speed, ultra-low latency, and many simultaneous uh, connections. The ultra-high speed uh, is uh, to realize the communication speed of 100 times faster on the trajectory of revolution compared to the uh, conventional mobile commercial communication systems. Focus of 5G, however, are twofold, uh, ultra-low latency and many simultaneous uh, connections. Ultra-low latency is a feature required to enable real-time operation and control of remote robots, uh, automobiles, and medical devices. Many simultaneous uh, connections will enable data collections and analysis by connecting uh, data from the devices and sensors around you. Up to 4G, services for smartphones to use by the general user were the main focus. However, uh, with the ultra-low uh, delay and many simultaneous uh, connections, it will lead to the increase in demand for industrial applications by building the wireless communication systems uh, instead of the previously wired. 5G will become indispensable for society 5.0, uh, which uh, realizes digital transformation of society as a whole. In April of last year, we certified the plan for 5G base stations and assigned the frequencies to four mobile phone operators. On a combined basis uh, amongst the four, 70,000 5G base stations will be installed nationwide by the end of fiscal year 2023. The coverage ratio of 5G will be approximately 98%. 5G is expected to be used in all kinds of industrial fields, but in order to promote its use, it is important to show specifically and showcase what 5G can do. Since fiscal year 27, uh, our ministry has been working to demonstrate the creation of new markets and to build a model for solving regional issues. 
The figure below shows the actual demonstration. Uh, use of uh, immersive video distribution for sightseeing and uh, sports watching on top left in the manufacturing field, applications to smart factories. In the medical field, it can be used for telemedicine. In the construction field, the use of the construction equipment for remote control. For example, as you can see on the other right, uh, we are conducting a, a demonstration factory uh, on, by connecting and controlling industrial robots with cable. Uh, but now with 5G, uh, connecting and controlling uh, in this way will mean uh, that uh, high speed and low latency uh, will be enabled, which is useful for rapid rearrangement of manufacturing lines required in the era of high mix and low volume uh, production. Um, we have been able to demonstrate the effectiveness of the 5G. Through the demonstration of 5G, uh, we have to show specific examples of 5G use cases and we have to uh, create uh, models to resolve various uh, challenges, including uh, regional or local challenges, and create a new market. We will make efforts to this end, family. As such, 5G has a lot of uh, potential, but to promote the fully-fledged uh, use of our 5G, it is natural that we have to develop a network in a steady manner, but at the same time, we have to be quite active in doing so. Our ministry formulated a master plan on the regional development of ICT infrastructure, and we are doing both support of 5G infrastructure development and promotion of 5G use. We are doing this in an effective manner. This year, uh, we are taking new initiatives. Uh, for example, we are creating a tax incentive system to promote the development of 5G base stations, and we have uh, developed a system to introduce a 5G to the frequency bandwidth used for 4G. We have done these. On top of that, uh, going forward, uh, we would like to expand uh, the frequency bandwidth for 5G. And in the second supplementary uh, budget of this fiscal year, a 5G network's uh, backbone is a regional optic uh, fiber, and we have a um, program uh, to support the promotion of um, optic uh, fiber uh, development, and we've increased the scale of this um, program and earmarked 50 billion yen, which is 10 times as much as the initial budget. By these initiatives, uh, we would like to build 210,000 plus base stations, which is three times as many as the original target for 5G base stations. And we will bring forward of the optical fiber development target by two years at the end of 2021. And we will bring forward the national rollout of ICT infrastructure, including 5G. Based upon this master plan, our ministry has been working on initiatives to realize a society 5.0, and we'd like to make a one or even two steps forward so that we can accelerate the development of 5G and optic fiber, which will be the platform for new normal. Often it is said that Japan is behind other countries in terms of 5G development, but currently Japan's 5G development is trying to be one of the world's best, and it is making such a headway. To roll out 5G, Optic fiber as a backbone is um, uh, crucial, but our optic fiber already covers 98.8% of all households in the country. Also, to deploy 5G, integration with the 4G infrastructure is important, but 4G already covers 99.99% of the population, and our ICT infrastructure is uh, quite uh, firm already. This kind of a rich and a stable existing ICT infrastructure already exists in the background, and at the end of fiscal 2023, 5G's regional coverage ratio should reach beyond 98%, so it should be one of the best in the world. As a Ministry of Communications, by utilizing 5G network that is the world best class, and in all areas and regions, 5G will penetrate, and it will be thoroughly used. Such an environment should be realized in Japan before others. So our 5G system has a unique component called a local 5G, which is quite unique in the world. Local 5G is independent from mobile phone operators, and regional and industry individual needs are considered, and local companies and governments and other entities can flexibly build 
this a 5G system. Last December, some frequency band we saw the creation of the system, and before the end of the year, the second group of frequencies will be institutionalized as well. Major feature of a local 5G is that even in areas where 5G is not available from mobile phone operators, 5G system can already be available by using this local 5G approach. Also, in comparison with um, uh, mobile phone operators and services, even if there are problems of communication in other locations, it's not impacted too much. It is also strong against disasters. Local 5G can be a self-employed 5G network within buildings and premises. It is expected to be used for remote control of uh, construction sites, automation of factories, automatic control of our farms, and remote monitoring of infrastructure such as rivers. Finally, I'd like to talk about uh, beyond 5G. As I explained earlier, ICT world sees a very rapid uh, innovation, and every 10 years a new communication system emerges. Looking at the past trends, uh, 5G's next generation system, which is uh, beyond 5G or 6G, we believe that this will be introduced or launched in 2030 or so. Already the US, uh, China, and South Korea, and so on, are looking at the 2030s, and they have started making considerations for the standards following 5G, and they are already earmarking some research and development budget, as well as formulating strategies for 6G. For Japan to lead the discussion of beyond 5G, we cannot fall behind such international trends. To realize beyond 5G, we already have to start taking initiatives, and the Ministry of Internal Communications have to smoothly introduce this next generation. So we announced a beyond 5G promotion strategy this June. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the contents of that, as well as our policy to promote this going forward. Beyond 5G doesn't have standards or definitions about the performance that is necessary as of now. So when considering the functions that are necessary for beyond 5G, first of all, we have to imagine that society 5.0 has to be realized in 2030s as a society and communication infrastructure to support this uh, society 5.0. What is that? Uh, we asked uh, ourselves this question. And we were able to identify uh, these seven functions that are necessary for beyond 5G communication standards. So there are three features that are unique to 5G, and they have to be 10 times as uh, good. And then there have to be some new features or functions. For example, even if a user doesn't think about it, security and privacy have to be ensured and all the time. And even if a disaster or failure happens, service has to be continued and it has to be recovered instantaneously. So ultra safety and reliability is necessary. And through AI technology, without human intervention, all devices should integrate with each other on an autonomous basis without thinking of a wired or wireless communication. Depending on the needs of users, optimum network should be built in an autonomous manner. So these are features should come with beyond 5G. We want to introduce this early and smoothly to increase the international competitiveness of Japan going forward. We would like to do all research development, IP standardization, and rollout. With regards to research and development, we'd like to realize one of the best environments for research and research and development in the world, so we'll make a concentrated investment in advanced technology. When it comes to IP standardization, we'd like to get a critical patents for beyond 5G, and our strategy is to make them open, or make them a de facto standard, and we will collaborate with the various foreign countries as our partners. As for the rollout, to introduce beyond 5G in a smooth manner in 2030, First of all, 5G infrastructure and services leveraging 5G have to penetrate the society. Such an environment is needed first, so communication platform has to be developed, and society as a whole has to be digitalized. And we will promote that. This is a 10-year roadmap towards 2030 to introduce a beyond 5G. There are 10 years, and the first five years are initial phase, and the latter five years are acceleration phase.
Especially in the first uh, five years, we will make a focused uh, effort with this uh, limited timeline, and we'd like to showcase the results of this in 2025 at Osaka and Kansai Expo. To promote uh, these uh, strategies, uh, by the end of the year, we will launch a Beyond 5G Promotion Consortium. In this consortium, industry, academia, and government will collaborate to promote these strategies. It will be like a parent body. To be specific based upon each strategy, specific initiatives will be shared across all the sectors, and various businesses, both domestic and international universities, can start demonstration projects. We will support those. This is free of charge. Not only organizations, but also individuals can join. We'd like to solicit participation. So I hope that all of you participating in today's event will, uh, together with us, realize Beyond 5G. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Minister Takeda.